we're at the beach. It's great. It's Sunday. <laughs> Hello and welcome to February. This first Sunday I spent it with my friend Lauren who was in town from up the coast. She was staying with us and we just had a lovely day in the sun. Went for a swim, enjoyed summertime and I enjoyed her company because I don't get to see her that often. <laughs> she also took it really well when I said, hey, I'm gonna record this vlog and you're gonna be in your bikini. Lauren, I love you. In the afternoon I made it to the gym, which was really good. I've been trying to focus on just doing things that I enjoy and kind of getting a little stronger the way that I used to be. And I guess this is the evolution of my kind of body image journey that I guess I told you guys about first thing in January. If you watch my channel, then you would have probably seen this video, hopefully. Thank you if you watched it. This is the Sunday where I woke up in a tent by the beach. I went camping by myself for the night. The next morning I got up and I made coffee and it was so windy and then I'm still cleaning up sand from, yeah, everywhere. But what I didn't show you in that video was a bit of the drive home where you can get some classic Steph brand road rage. Enjoy.
seen a lot of this artist's artwork before. When I lived in Denmark, they had an exhibition on at the Aros Museum in August where I was living on an exchange semester. And I feel like for architecture people, so Marion is a friend from architecture school, the, this artwork in particular is just mind-blowing. It is a recreation of the entry spaces of the different apartment buildings that the artist has lived in over their life. And the attention to detail is just crazy. And the way this thing is constructed is just insane. Every single little detail of the doors, the hinges, the electricity, the power points is all in there. And it's just amazing. And it just makes me appreciate this kind of art so, so much. It was really great to see it again and to be able to share that moment with a friend. No. So the title is a bit of a giggle, but this artwork is actually insane. The artists wrapped their childhood home in paper, rubbed the whole thing with charcoal to get the impression of the building, unwrapped the whole thing and rebuilt it at one-to-one -one scale. So this is the real life size of the building. It's just mind-blowing. The rocks markets were on, so we went there too and got some ice cream. It was a lovely day. Thank you, Mary, and I love you a lot. Hello, it's Sunday, the last Sunday of February. And I'm hungover, which I'm kind of not happy about. Last night was Mardi Gras, which was really fun. My first time ever doing anything for Mardi Gras. <laughs> Usually Mardi Gras is on my first day and I boycott it because usually all my friends are busy and they don't want to hang out with me because they're too busy with Mardi Gras. I had a really fun time last night and next weekend is now available to do uni work. Speaking of uni work, I have a lot of work to do today. So this Sunday is going to be pretty boring, I think. I'm so tired. I <laughs> wasn't a particularly late one, but I did drink a lot more tequila than I had planned. <sighs> I'm gonna make another coffee and sit on my computer <sighs> and hate myself just a little bit for drinking alcohol. I think I'm gonna have to quit again. Just flat out quit. I don't love this feeling. I don't love it at all. do some work. In the spirit of what I wanted to capture when I started this vlog series at the beginning of the year, I thought I'd share what I've been reflecting on. At the beginning of the year, I set an intention to build more connection with myself, with my husband, with my friends, with my community, with my family, of course. And I think this month was really focused on friends. I had a great time with my girls doing all kinds of stuff. And I'm looking forward to carrying that intention on for the rest of the year. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.